It's not the fits, Mama. Then it's me for giving them to you, but I didn't do it. It's not the fits. You said it yourself. Okay, the medicine takes care of the fits. Your daddy gave the medicine to you, Jesse. He passed it down to you like your green eyes and your straight hair. It's not my fault. So what if he had little fits? It's not hereditary. Okay, the medicine takes care of the fits. It, it was an accident. I fell off a horse. The horse wasn't the first time, Jesse. You had a fit when you were five years old. I did not. You did. You were eating a popsicle and down you went. He gave it to you. It's his fault, not mine. Well, you took your time telling me. How do you tell that to a five-year-old? What did the doctor say? He said kids have them all the time. He said there wasn't anything to do but wait for another one. But I didn't have another one. You mean to tell me I had fits all the time as a kid? And you just told me I fell down or something? It wasn't until Cecil saw me have one that anybody bothered to find out what was the matter with me? It wasn't all the time, Jesse. And they changed when you started to school, more like your daddy's. Oh, that was some swell time, sitting here some nights, two of you turning on and off like light bulbs. How many fits did I have? You never hurt yourself. I never let you out of my sight. I caught you every time. But you didn't tell anybody. It was none of their business. You were ashamed. I didn't want anyone to know, least of all you. <laughs> least of all me? That was mine to know, Mama, not yours. Did Daddy know? He thought you were, you fell down a lot. That's what he thought, you were careless. Or maybe he thought I'd beat you. I don't know what he thought. He didn't think about it. Because you didn't tell him. If I told him about you, I'd have to tell him about him. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I didn't think you'd like it. That's why I didn't tell you. But if I had known I was an epileptic, I wouldn't have ridden any horses. Make you feel like a freak? Is that what I should have done? Just get the manicure tray and sit down. I don't want a manicure. <laughs> Doesn't look like you do. <coughs> Maybe I did drop you. You don't know. If you say you didn't, then you didn't. Maybe I fed you the wrong thing. Maybe. You had a fever sometime and I didn't catch it soon enough. Maybe it's a punishment. For what? I don't know. Because of how I felt about your father. Because I didn't want any more children. Because I smoked too much and didn't eat right when I was carrying you. It has to be something I did. It does not. It's a sickness, not a curse. Epilepsy doesn't mean anything. It just is. I'm not talking about the fits here, Jesse. I'm talking about this killing yourself. It has to be something that I did. You wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't. I didn't tell you things, or I married you off to the wrong man, or I took you in and let your life get away from you, or all of it put together. I don't know what I did, but I did it. I know. Jesse, this is all my fault, but I don't know what to do about it now. This has nothing to do with you. Oh, everything you do has to do with me, Jesse. You can't do anything. Wash your face or cut your finger without doing it to me. That's right, Jesse. You may as well kill me as you. It's the same thing. This is about me, Jesse. What if it is? What if it has everything to do with you? What if you're all I have and you're not good enough? All right, what if I could take the rest of it all if I just didn't have you here? And the only way to get away from you for good is to kill myself. Hey, what if it is? I can still do it. Don't leave me, Jesse. No! I have a box of things I have for some people. All right? I'm going to go get it. Why don't you just rest for a minute?
Jesse, how can I live here without you? I need you. You're supposed to tell me to stand up straight and say how nice I look in my pink dress and drink my milk. You're supposed to go around and lock up so I know we're safe for the night. And when I wake up, you're supposed to be out there making the coffee and watching me grow older every day. And you're supposed to help me die when the time comes, Jesse. I can't do that by myself. I'm not like you, Jesse. I hate the quiet, and I don't want to die, and I don't want you to go, Jesse. How can I? How can I get up? every day knowing you had to kill yourself to make it stop hurting. And I was here the whole time and I never even saw it. Then you gave me this chance to make it better, convince you not to kill yourself, and I couldn't do it. How can I live with myself after this, Jesse? I only told you so I could explain it. So you wouldn't blame yourself. So that you wouldn't feel bad. There wasn't anything you could say to change my mind. Hey, I didn't want you to save me. I just wanted you to know. Stay with me, Jesse. Just a little longer. Just a few more years. I don't have that many more to go. And when I'm dead, you can do whatever you want. Maybe with me gone, You'll have all the quiet you need right here in the house. And maybe one day you'll put some begonias in up the wall. And they'll get just to the bright morning all summer. And Ricky will be married by then. And he'll bring over your grandbabies and you can sneak them a piece of candy when their daddy's not looking. And then be real glad when they've gone and left you to your quiet again. Don't you see, Mama? Everything I do ends up like this. Everything I do. How could I think you would understand? How could I think you would want a manicure? We could sit and hold hands for an hour and then I could go shoot myself. I'm sorry about tonight, but it's exactly what I'm doing. If you've got the guts to kill yourself, you've got the guts to stay alive. I know that. So it's really just a matter of where I'd rather be. Look, maybe I can't think of what you should do, but that doesn't mean there isn't something that would help. You find it. You think of it. You can keep trying. You can get brave and try some more. You don't have to give up. I am not giving up. This is the other thing I'm trying. I know there are many things that might work, but my work is not good enough. I need something that will work, and this will work. That's why I picked it. But something could happen. Something that could change everything. Who knows what it might be, but it might be worth waiting for. Try it. Just two more weeks. We could have more talks, like tonight. <laughs> no, Mama. I'll pay more attention to you, tell you the truth when you ask, let you have your say. This is how I have my say, Mama. We wouldn't have more talks like tonight because it's this next part that's made this last part so good. Okay, this is how I have my say. This is how I have my say when I thought about it all and I say no. Alright, I say no to Dawson and Loretta, Red Chinese and Epilepsy, Ricky and Cecil, you and me and Hope, I say no. Please just let me go easy, Mama. How can I let you go? You can't because you have to. It's what you've always done. You are my child! I am what became of your child. I'm not very...
very good company, am I? No. And neither am I. <laughs>